show you how I uh, test this uh, Renogy DC to DC uh, charger and CPT solar panel con charge controller, which is this one here. And uh, you can see uh, house, house battery on the. This is the Mighty Max CO, the lead acid battery. Morning. Okay, I'll take a look, see what's going on. But anyway, this is a uh, sealed uh, AGM battery, and um, system voltage is 12 volts. House battery is 11.4 volts. House battery charging amp is 0.14 amps, and you can see the house battery temperature is 77. So this thing actually gives you a lot of information. See the DC, the DC MPPT temperature is 35.6. Uh, Fahrenheit okay and um, you know which is pretty good get this all this information from that little VT2 uh, Bluetooth Ranergy uh, Bluetooth link and you can see it's uh, 0 0.04 amps 0 0.06 amp uh, the solar panel is, is, is getting about 14.6 volts and it's charging my uh, battery at uh, one watt you know charging the house battery at one watt charging the house battery at 0.12 amps you know um, and then uh, the house battery is 11.4 amp uh, volts sorry you know so it's uh, and you can see the lights are like that you know so but um let me show you how to uh, test it DC to DC MPPT uh, Charger and MPPT solar panel controller two in one. You know, two is um, the MPPT uh, solar panel charge controller to make sure the solar panel does not deliver more than 12 volts or 13 volts, 14 volts rather, to this. Uh, and also, it um, it's a uh, DC to DC charger, uh, meaning it, it can take the uh, from the alternator here, but I'm not connecting to that. I'm just showing you how to connect uh, for a bench test to make sure the Ranergy DC to DC charger is working and the Bluetooth uh, connect it, uh, is the Bluetooth uh, thing is uh, sensor and is uh, working so this way and then you can you can uh, can you can connect put it into the car and also put it so this is the input input basically it's the pv positive which is supposed to connect to the solar panel positive wire here and the solar panel negative wire is supposed to go to the green which is to go to the other side which is the output or the house battery the negative side and the house battery positive side is connected to the out positive so that's how you uh, do the connection and check it you first connect these two to the house battery then this green light of this energy bluetooth is going to uh, In order to get to your link to your cell phone, which is that link in blue flashing, meaning now it's uh, connected as you can see here. So I have now house battery uh, voltage is 12.8 volts and it's charging at 0.25 amps and the house battery charging watts is 3 watts. Okay. It's uh, 12 times the 0.27 amp in order to get to the 3 watts and the PC charging uh, voltage is regulated down to 14.6 volts I mean right now it's probably getting about 18 volts with this uh, 55 watts panel but the, the MPPT is effectively reducing the 20 or 18 volts from the solar panel down to 14.6 volts to charge this battery and <laughs> and the, the solar panel is delivering 0 0.4, 0 0.14 amps because it's uh, already in the shade. Otherwise, um, the sun is behind the tree now. 
otherwise um, it should deliver up to three uh, amps uh, rough uh, uh, roughly instead of only 0.14 amps you know to charge the battery and you can see the 0.22 amps is charging the battery now the ba house battery rise up from 11 to 12.9 and I don't have the house battery under charge anymore, you know, so that's how you, uh, you know, charge it. It's a sealed AGN battery. So we come to this uh, Renogy DC to DC. You can see on the side, if it's a, the, these are the color of this light. And if it's green, that's an AGM. If it's a green, green color that's a seal the AGM battery which is this one which is this okay but for whatever reason it's showing yellow right now um, yellow is a gel 14 oh, okay, sorry. the green color is the seal the AGM battery the first one the battery type is the first light here this is just to show you whether the battery is fully charged or not and it was in red, meaning the battery is uh, undercharged. And right now it's um, almost charged, so in yellow, it's going to turn to green when it's fully charged. But we'll see. And this is the red, meaning the um, solar panel is connected uh, to, the, to the system. So my battery type is uh, showing green color, which is the sealed lead acid battery. And my service battery indicator is in red, meaning it's under voltage. And it's charging this, the battery. And you can see at two watts. Uh, and it's uh, charging the house battery at 0.15 amps. And the solar panel is limited to 14.6 volts to go into the system through this uh, Renogy NPPT and DC to DC charger two in one uh, system. And that's the, the, the link to link the Renogy system to the, uh, to my cell phone. And I have an Andre, Android or the Google Pro 7 Pro, but if you have an iPhone, it's gonna work too. You just have to download this, uh, this uh, app and it's DC Home app. And you can see this is the my uh charging by uh, charging by solar panel at two volts and also used by inverter, you know. So this thing is gonna show, you know, and DC to DC charger, uh, one watts, you know, 0 0.11 amps, right? And I'm not using uh, any of the thing yet, so there's nothing used by the, inverter that's why it's saying charging by DC to DC you know which is really nice and it's down to one watt okay so now the battery is down to uh, red again you know um, there is the devices there is a community there is the me so we're gonna go into here oops cancel we're gonna go into here and see cancel yeah, we're gonna go into here and see CO battery, 12 volts, 11.7 uh, volts, you know. So that's how uh, you're supposed to test this uh, DC to DC charger, okay, and the Bluetooth, make sure it is working, you know. And now the house battery is down to 12.08, 11.8 volts. That's why this uh, red uh, thing is showing house battery undercharged.